How's it going out there, guys? You may be asking yourself, who am I, and what is this thing behind me? Well, I'm Mark Horning, 2011 Vintage World Champ. Behind me is the painting that they give the winner of the Vintage Tournaments. For 2011, it was Chris Ron's Alternate Art Time Walk, as you can see behind me. Very cool piece. It's probably easily one of the best pieces done for the Vintage Championships. A um, little bit about the tournament. It is a eight nine round tournament depending how many people to get cut to a top eight I did play dredge that year for the 2011 championships dredge is a bit of a polarizing deck you either love it or you either hate it the deck revolves around getting bizarre of Baghdad in the play and then utilizing the dredge mechanic to fill up your graveyard which then allows you to get free creatures in the play and cast some free spells so a lot of decks in the vintage format have a tough time interacting with Dredge, especially game one. But game two and three, you know, they bring in the specific cards they need to combat Dredge. And that makes Dredge, you know, have some of the hardest game two or threes in the format. Um, if you do guys decide to, you know, Dredge is maybe a deck you want to try, you definitely want to practice your game two and three. Um, they're definitely tough, so... And you got to get lucky sometimes, as some people may or may not know about my win. I did have to peel a chain of vapor off the top before dying. So I got pretty lucky. I mean, that's all you need to win a tournament usually is you got to get some good play and some luck. For me, top 8 was, it was exciting, but at the same time I made a few misplays. That's where, you know, you want to make sure you're mentally prepared for tournaments. Especially, you know, it's a grind. It's from 10 a.m. to you got into the wee hours of the morning, 1, 2 o'clock. And what kind of hurt me was playing the block championships the night before. I was out until 3.30 in the morning the night before Vintage Champs, leaving me only a few hours of sleep before I actually played in Vintage Champs. So thankfully, I did have some luck go my way, have some lucky breaks, but I feel for tournaments, you know, you need a combination of playing tight and you need the lucky breaks as well to win tournaments so what I am happy to announce that graded magic cards will be the recipient of the painting behind me I will also be providing them a letter of authenticity stating that the painting yes is real and yes it was won by me as you can see behind me so it's a pretty cool piece I'm excited for graded magic cards to have it and thank you guys for watching the video